Hey folks, thanks for checking out BND Wood Designs today. I'm actually going to do a quick review on this Craig shelf pin jig. Uh, never used it until today. I uh, bought it specifically for this project. I'm building a kitchen buffet. Uh, when you get your shelf pin jig, uh, you're going to get an edge guide. You're going to get the jig. You're going to get an Allen screw to adjust the drill bit, which I'll show here in just a minute. A guide pin, show you how to use this as well. A drill bit with a collar, which I've already got it set up in my drill ready to go. And for these pins. Now, right now, I don't have a face frame on this area where I'm putting in adjustable shelves. Uh, so I'm going to use this guide. It's very easy. You have notches here. Just line the notch up, slide it in, Bob's your uncle ready to go and now a couple other things i like to use or i have found handy i've done three rows of these shelf pins a clamp of some kind this is the craig auto clamp i've had that for a little while another product i really love a squeeze clamp i'll show you why i use that for here in just a minute and a spacer now this is about eight inches because that's where i want my first shelf to go is about eight inches from the top so let's i'm going to move you down into this cabinet so you can see what i'm doing so just bear with me oh all righty so we're here getting ready to set our jig up i put my spacer up here up against the top again it's about eight inches and then i use my squeeze clamp squeeze it on there it don't have to be super tight it just needs to stay in place taking our jig you have your first pin hole is right here at the very top i just like to slide that edge guide there and slide it up till it touches that then i'll take my auto clamp sometimes it's hard to do one-handed make sure it's touching just squeeze it it'll hold it so now that we're good to go we're going to take our drill. I know, big boy sitting in the floor. We're going to drill our holes. Now this is where that pin comes into place. You wanna pop your clamp off, take your jig off, slide this pin in that top hole, and you wanna set it in the very last hole you drilled. Now your jig is set back up for another row. I'm gonna drill all these out and then drop it down one and drill one more hole. I know this is the perfect setup because I've already done it three other times. So, again, just drill your holes. Make sure your jig stays pressed against the face of your cabinet. It's always a good idea to use a clamp. Keeps it in place. Don't set your clamp too hard. This is plastic and it will break. Because I know one more hole is going to be perfect. Again, I just drop that pin down to the next hole down and then just want to drill out that bottom hole. All right, there you go, you're done. Pull your pin out, pull your spacer off. There you go. Well, Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You'll have to forgive me guys for moving around. I don't have a tripod yet. Just a couple other helpful hints on the back of your 
jig, you have a slot here, and you'll notice a square. That square is to set up your jig pin right here. Bear with me, we're going to loosen this. The way you use that to set it up is you just drop your drill in, slide your shaft all the way down till it stops, and then tighten up the Allen screw with your Allen wrench. Guys, it's pretty simple. Somebody like me who's a full-time banker and does this part-time can use it. Anybody can do it. Thank you, Craig, for making, making such an awesome jig. And uh, all I can tell you is, guys, if you make cabinets with shelving, get you one of these. It's going to make your life so much easier. Get out there. Crush the day.